That's pretty. I know the camera doesn't show a good depth of field, but let's see if I can zoom in. No, I can't zoom in after it started recording. Alright, well, good to know. Came across someone's campground. It's a nice little spot, too, right next to the river. Stream, whatever you want to call this. Might be a promising little fishing spot. Well, maybe not. Not seeing any signs of fish or crawfish activity. That's beautiful. I see a fish right in there, guys. Oh, I see one. We're going to try and get him. We're going to try and get him. I saw him. I can see him. I can see him. I'm going to fish him. It's official. There's some fish here. We're going to try. I'm going to try this little jig head today. It's one of those atomic tubes. Still can't believe we just saw that one right there. It is promising. He is right in here somewhere. Shit, I'm caught on some stuff. Maybe I should have brought the little pole out. Right, let's find out where he was. I saw him from behind. Is he up more? Where is he? I don't see him over there anymore. might have had to go down a bit. Whoa. See if there's anything in here. Oh shoot. Dang, where could he have well, gone? He probably could have gone all the way down. Where could he have gone? Yeah, it's actually what? Got 
Yeah, I think it's a little too fast here. And I don't see that fish anymore. It was a decent sized one too. Alright, well we're going to keep this out. We're going to keep heading up then. Let's see if there's anything over here real quick. Yeah, I probably should have brought the duck runner. This is pretty cool. I'm stuck up in the trees. Oh, I caught the tree again. Yeah, no. That's cool, though. Yeah, unless we get an open spot, I'm going to have to bust out the duck runner. Ooh. Oh, look, dandelions. Promising, promising this fish. I saw one. I know I saw one. Oh, uh, the road's getting a bit shitey. I don't think I'm going to be able to get, get up there in this. That nice little camp spot was the last turnabout, I guess, for a nice road. But, oh, that's cool. Beautiful up here. I'm just going to have to get a truck to be able to go farther. I'm going to go try and find a bridge where I can catch some catfish, maybe. Or maybe we'll just have enough time to cook some lunch and it'll just be an explore and cook kind of video. So, I'll keep you posted. One could say I was ill prepared for this trip, but... You know, I mean, I wasn't expecting to be catfishing today. Or fish in the river. I was expecting, well, I was expecting to be fishing the creek and then catching trout, not catfish. So I got, so I got more worms and all that stuff. You know, just to have a little fun with the catfish. I mean, have fun with the trout. And then, and then it's out. And now we're here on the fish. Hey guys, I'm going to get a bite. Today, we're gonna let this one go. Yeah, I'm gonna put you down here and uh, hopefully I'm gonna strong arm them up. Oh. All right, oh, shoot. nope, nope, not all right. Take two. All right. Oh, this is a pretty channel. Hello. You settle down, Mister. Hey, can you stop? All right. Look at that, guys. Today wasn't a total bust. Got a nice catfish. I'm gonna have to go get my pliers. I didn't. I didn't. Even, oh shoot! I didn't bring any. Um. Be right back. All right, guys. He swallowed the hook, so I just clipped the line so he doesn't die. 
and I don't try and wrestle that hook out too bad. I'm gonna let him go. There he goes. All right, guys, this is the setup I'm using. It's a duck runner rod, a little shorty. Got the Carolina rig set up over here. And then we got some millworms, and we just caught one on millworms. And these are giant millworms. So we should get some good catfish with those. Love the bell, tells you when you get it here. I kind of got the stuff, so I forgot seasoning, so I put it in this. So I put it in this uh, lime, carrot, I don't remember what it's called, but it's got uh, jalapenos and onions in it. I don't know what the compote is called, but hopefully that's been marinating for a little bit. And now we could get that. Isn't that nice? A little shelf right there. How are you cooler? Alright, and then we got some guac salsa. I have an egg for my batter. Pinko breadcrumbs. Limes for the burrito. And some lard to fry it all up in. And my fork, because I can't find what happened to my last fork. That was the black one that I used to cook the, the sausages last time. Something happened to it. But I'm gonna get this all set up. Oh, you're too close. I'm gonna get this all set up, and then uh, I'll get to cooking, and then we'll hopefully have some fun before I have to leave and catch some more fish. I already got the one. All right, guys, got some menteca. Let that get all nice and hot and. Melty. And like I said, I didn't have any I didn't have any seasoning, so I had to resort to throwing these in there from the from the restaurant. Got my nice little marinade going in. We need to from A, that's right. Pop an egg in there. Just get it all coated with some egg. That's the second. Got a panko crumbs. Let's do this away from my ice chest. Hopefully I don't get any egg on it. That looks ready. Now we got one nice fish fillet going in. Put it in away from you. All right, we're gonna let that cook, guys.
Well, I think I'm out of shit. I'm out of propane. Yep. Well, I ran out of gas. Should have bought another can. But they're cooked. So I'm going to make my burritos. Hi, right, guys. I got some rice and beans.